was born in Hayes, as well as act as bat. Surviving mention of Harlington appears to be in a 9th century charter. Sir William Bird lived in Hayes, as did Stephen Storrs. The bounded on the west by Hydra Reddington. From 1930 to 1965, Harlington formed part of Hayes and Harlington Urban District. The Urban District Council Cemetery in Cherry Lane was opened in 1936. And the name of Hillington was taken partly because Hillington is here in the middle anyway, and partly because being small, it arouses no jealousy. It lies to the west of central London, and on one side of the new borough, you're into the green fields of Buckinghamshire and the road to Oxford. Whether or not this new, this modern conglomerate will ever develop into a real late 20th century prototype, who can tell? But it is seriously on the cards, and meanwhile, it has all the various institutions which an important community needs. Lido's, parks, schools... Back 40 years now to the posters and prices of 1914. To the good old days Grandma's always talking about when a penny for your thoughts was a good offer. Brunel University was established as a full university in 1966 at Royal Charter then. This whole place was specifically built as a university. It's all brand new. Did you know Heathrow was a small hamlet that was demolished in 1944? For the name Heathrow, it was mentioned in 1410 as Lochethrow, then Heathio to Heathrow, then Heathrow and then eventually as Heathrow in 1453. By the 1920s, a number of companies began to move in, like Ferry Aviation, Technicolor, and Penguin Books. <laughs> and by the 1950s, Heathrow began on the path of the expansion that we know today, meeting the needs of an airport in West London. Promise the modern youngsters a penny a week pocket money and they... Port in West London. It's towards a quite decisively new vision of medicine. There's no question of making Hillington. We are future citizens live up to the high standards we are setting them. Whatever your age, you never stop learning. Will they help to make a better job of the world than we have? These and many more are questions we ask ourselves, but are questions that only time can answer. <laughs>